Over a century after the death of the massive, infamous, unsinkable ship, the global maritime industry has been thrown into wild speculation over the recent rebirth of the Titanic. Titanic 2 is yet to begin construction, but the news of its production has sent media houses buzzing. Investors bidding and public interest rising, most of the presumptions about this new ambiguous sea house project stem from the shipwreck story etched into minds from history preserving books and articles, made more endearing by the famous film adaptation by James Cameron. It is little wonder that fears arise concerning the Titanic 2's design. How infallible will this majestic replica of the Titanic be? What safety measures are in place to ensure its long-lasting ride? Tramping these inquiries with a confident stride, the Titanic 2 showcases an elegant exterior and an even more appealing interior. From its building materials to the building plan showcased by the handling company, this luxurious adaptation is proving to be more than just that. Instead, it aims to redefine marine travels with evidence of exquisiteness and safety while preserving the legacy of the former ship and highlighting human resilience. Join us as we delve into the intricacies of the genius design of the Titanic 2 in this video. The plan for Titanic 2 came into play after the original Titanic met its death. Launched on May 31st 1911, the Titanic was tagged the biggest, most luxurious and unsinkable ship of the time. Built in Belfast, Northern Ireland, the ship was owned by a US company. Although registered with the British under the White Star Line Maritime Company and was made to travel the Atlantic Ocean between Southampton, England and New York City, the original Titanic was so humongous that it was set to house over 2,300 passengers aside from crew members and it did house them, did it not? On the 10th of April 1912, this RMS Titanic set sail on its maiden trip from Southampton, with 2,240 passengers and crew aboard. Five days later, the prestige ship hit an iceberg and met its demise, taking with it the lives of an estimated 1,500 passengers and crew members, while leaving survivors scarred for the rest of their lifetimes. Notwithstanding, the design of this first Titanic was admirable in many ways. Built for luxury since it carried some of the wealthiest people in the world, the accommodation was made according to class. It was said to have had three classes, first, second and third class. The first class accommodation being the most elegant and aesthetic was designed to be the peak of luxury and comfort with a swimming pool, smoking rooms, top notch restaurants and cafes, opulent cabins and even a Victorian style Turkish bath in place to highlight its sophistication. In addition, the Titanic also had safety measures high enough to match its infrastructural standards. Equipped with over 16 lifeboat davits with the capability of housing three lifeboats each, this ship was supposed to be the hallmark of safety if any sea catastrophe was to occur. However, only a total of 20 boats were fixed into the ship at the time of sailing, despite the capacity for more. The deficiency played a huge role in the loss of passengers when the ship hit the iceberg, as it could only save less than half of the total number aboard. These commas were quickly spotted and highlighted in the stories told after about the great sinking of the unsinkable ship. These flaws also gave rise to the motivation to build another Titanic, with updated materials and safety measures to prevent the negative reoccurrence. But how possible is that? Keep watching to find out. After the downfall of the first, plans for the second Titanic began in 1998, starting with a visionary South African businessman named Saril Gu, aiming to replicate the finesse and body build of the first. Gu gave an estimate of 500 million as his budget for the first project. His goal was for the replica to be a 951 feet length ship with 108 feet width and accommodation for over 2,600 passengers. In June 2000, Saril Gu stood before the Belfast Council to present his idea and attempted fundraising in November of the same year. However, his enthusiasm was met with a lack of the same from the public and investors as well, citing the negative end of the first ship as a probable reoccurrence in 2006. Gu had to call a close due to a lack of funding for his visionary project, but sleeping dogs are not always left to die are they? Because, just a month before the 100th birthday of the first Titanic, on the 30th of April 2012, Australian mining billionaire Clive Palmer hosted a press conference to declare his intention of building a replica of the RMS Titanic. When asked about his reason, he responded, The seeds of my interest in building the Titanic 2 were down when I saw the first movie. 
referring to the 1997 award-winning James Cameron movie about the Titanic. The billionaire planned for a jaw-dropping 56,000 gross tonnage for the Titanic II, an accommodation capacity of over 2,450 passengers aside from the 900 pre-planned crew members. More shockingly, he set an aim for launching the Titanic II in 2018. However, Palmer also faced challenges regarding the project, as people questioned whether his move was born out of his political aspirations or to truly redefine legacy. The back and forth with different court appeals slowed down the project till it seemed that it would no longer come into existence. This was until the 13th of March 2024, when the Australian billionaire shocked the public by re-emerging with his plans to continue his Titanic project under the Blue Star Line Company in a self-hosted conference. When asked his reason, Palmer said rather cheekily, it's a lot more fun to do the Titanic than it is to sit at home and count my money. The 70-year-old billionaire blamed the COVID pandemic for the delay and said that the construction should begin in 2025, as he's got more money now. Confident in his plans, he announces that the ship is to make its maiden journey from Southampton to New York City, like the first ship in June 2027, leaving listeners in further awe. However, concerns still plague the design of the Titanic II. What will the audacious Clive Palmer be doing differently this time to safeguard the passengers? As much as the anticipation rose for what this replica of the Titanic II would look like, there is no real ship in sight yet to convey the potential look. However, thankful for recent technology, a five minute detailed video of the 3D renders was shown to journalists present, showcasing what all nine decks of the Titanic II would be like. Priding himself on bringing in some of the best maritime designers for this prestigious project, Palmer acknowledges that he aims for the Titanic II to have the same elegant interiors and sophisticated cabin layout as the first Titanic, honoring the legacy of the renowned ship. The Titanic II is to be furnished with a ballroom, a theater, a casino, Turkish baths, and swimming pools, and to give it a modern feel, an equipped gym. Palmer assured that the ship would be built according to its initial plan of 56,000 tonnes, with a length of 883 feet and an accommodation capacity of 840 rooms for over 2,435 passengers and 900 crew members. The Titanic II promises a nostalgic feel of the 90s, a perfect blend of history, luxury and human ingenuity once aboard the magnificent project. Regarding the safety measures of the Titanic II, the five minute video showed a detailed spread of the ship's technical specs, including an area tagged the Lifeboat Overview. Determined to not let history repeat itself, this ship will feature state-of-the-art modern technology and the latest safety and navigation systems. In an interview with Spark about Titanic II, Palmer was asked to list some of the specific safety features that the Titanic II would employ to be better than the first ship. In the billionaire's words, we are working with a number of global partners to ensure the authenticity and safety of the Titanic II. Marine classification group Lloyd's Register has committed to the Titanic II project and will be responsible for reviewing drawings, calculations and studies to ensure utmost compliance with modern standards. We've also added an additional safety deck. This allows the bridge to clearly see over the bow, which the original Titanic was unable to do. This went far to encourage people that perhaps this ship might just be the perfect replica for the first, without the depressing ending of course. The legacy of the Titanic 2 aspires to be an uplifting story that hopefully makes up for what was one of the worst ship cruise accidents to have ever occurred. Clive Palmer was inspired by the love story of Jack and Rose in the 1997 movie and also hoped that an even more positively inspiring story would emerge from the Titanic 2. With majestic design features and modern technology and safety measures to its backing, the Titanic 2 not only promises to pay homage to its first build but to also rewrite history by completing the Southampton New York City journey that never was come 2027. Till then, its solid features remain a source of comfort for potential investors and passengers.